This right here is gonna be the most in-depth organic dropshipping tutorial video you're ever gonna see. What we will cover here is four video formats which are proven to work. And if you nail these four video formats, you're just gonna be able to go viral on repeat. How we're gonna do this is every single type of video is gonna have a checklist. So if you follow all the points in the checklist, you literally will just go viral. Inside of our program, only these four video types generated billions of views and a multi seven figure amount in sales. Make sure you pay attention. And if you stick till the end, I'm literally going to give you all the checklists for all the video formats and send them your way completely for free. Number one, the text. She called me in to take a bath together. That's what I found. You see something lining up with the candles and with the other stuff, but you don't see the bath yet. So you naturally are going to wait to see the rest. Obviously in the text, it's saying that's what I found. So you want to see what did you find? So far, the visual doesn't align with the text. That's what I found. What did you find? I don't see yet what you found. So it's a very good way to hook if you just say something which is not visible yet. The the music itself makes you wait because you can hear how the beat is about to drop. Now let's make a little checklist here. Very first of all, lighting has to be on point. Basic but very important. If you catch yourself just scrolling on TikTok or Instagram, try to see how quick you just scroll past because sometimes you just assume that a terribly looking video is gonna be shit. You just want to scroll past just immediately. So on all of these, the lighting was set up properly. Even though, for example, this bathroom thing is not super well lit, but it fits the whole style because it's supposed to be like romantic and there's candles. So it makes sense that it's dark. The next thing is a great text hook. The text itself has to be a really good indicator of what's about to come. Ideally, this is even better. It's going to make them curious what's going to happen next. Let me show you one more example of that being done perfectly where you just wonder what's about to happen. A very simple nine second video. However, there's a really good story being told. Very first of all, let's take a look at the hook. I'll call you back in five minutes. In reality, in the first two seconds, there's three different types of hooks. Number one is a text. I'll call you back in five minutes. Obviously, this implies that something is going to happen soon. Also, there's this FaceTime sound where you turn it off, right? It's very relatable and it's a sound which everybody knows. And then the third thing, if we look closely, is this poo thing. It just starts being a little bit sad. So three things just happen. The story here could have been just told by I'll call you back in five minutes. But these two extra layers just made everything better. And the hook makes you more curious because of it. And it sparks emotion. On top of that, this is a very relatable thing where somebody tells you they're going to call you back. You already expect they're not going to call you back or something along those lines. My ex gave me this jacket one year ago, but after one year, I noticed that there was something strange in it. So I decided to check it out. What is that? It was a 24 7 intelligent tag that she put in my jacket. Wait, will she still be having my location? So, this is obviously a very viral video. Is it super flashy, insane props? No. The only thing they did was find a good storyline. And that's the reason why this video went viral. A lot of things were done really well here, even just in the first three seconds. So if we take a look again at the hook here, my ex gave me this jacket one year ago, but just the but itself is already almost a cliffhanger because something is going on. This is not just a regular jacket, which my ex-girlfriend gave to me and that's it. There's some twist which is going to come up, especially because he's like tapping the jacket and there's a visual hook where he's tapping the jacket and searching for something. And also there's a text hook. So if you just think about this, the sentence is not structured perfectly. Like my ex gave me this jacket one year ago, but it's obviously not a full sentence, but the point of it is cliffhanging people for the next few seconds. Let me show you another example here. What 
happens when she agrees to go on a date with a nerd, right? That's almost a question which is about to be answered. So that's a really good way to just spark curiosity. Now the next checkpoint, and this is broad but important, the quality of the video itself, and this is connected to the lighting, but not only that, just the quality, the feel of the video needs to be very good. When you make these type of stories, usually, and like in a lot of the cases, you're not gonna have crazy location changes or anything like that. So you need to make that one setup which you have really, really good. Next is the text style and size need to look very native. Scroll around on TikTok and don't do it on your burner account. Just do it on somewhere where you don't see dropshippers. You don't want to mimic dropshippers. You want to mimic the top content creators. Just look at the font they're using, especially in your niche, and copy that. You're going to notice they all don't use like flashy red text or nobody says 50% off or these weird things, which a lot of dropshippers do, but it just doesn't feel native and people instantly scroll past. And on top of that, the size of the text is very important. If the sizing is too big or small, it doesn't feel native. You will keep scrolling if it doesn't. And the main thing for a storyline is just the first couple of seconds need to be engaging and entertaining enough so people just don't scroll past. That's the main point of it. This is an active question which you should be asking yourself and if it's not answered properly, it means that your video sucks. A lot of you guys, you just shit out the video and that's it. But think about that question, the first three seconds. Is it engaging enough to hook someone's attention? Yes or no? If no, just change it. Do it again. I just showed you a bunch of really good examples. Now let me show you a terrible one. My mom is obsessed with sewing. So I got her this mini sewer. Now she can't stop using it. Link in the bio to get yours for 50% off. Do you see how shit this hook is in comparison to the other videos? The text itself, which is my mom is obsessed with sewing, nobody cares. Nobody cares about your mom and her sewing experience. And the second thing is it takes you like a second until the text even pops up and something starts. The first second, there's literally just a piece of cloth. Nothing is hooking you to keep watching this. So this is a really good example for a bad video. I have a really good example here of a video which Mikey again posted and went mega viral and then another guy who tried to copy him and he sucked and you can clearly tell why he didn't go viral. And the reason is because he didn't follow the checklist. So let's take a look at Mikey's first and then the other guy. My dad said he wanted to show me his latest purchase. Apparently it looks cooler in the dark. Why does he have headlights on his Crocs? I'm what is he doing? So this, for example, was a very, very good video. The lighting was perfect. It was super engaging the entire video. And the idea for the storyline was also great because it's very relatable. It's like a dad thing to do. So now look at the other guy doing the same thing and just proving the point that the storyline by itself is not enough. Execution matters as well. My dad said he wanted to show me his latest purchase. Apparently, it looks cooler in the dark. Why does he have headlights on his Crocs? I'm... What is he doing? There's basically just two things which are different. Number one, the lighting, it's way darker and looks worse. And number two, it doesn't look as natural as the first one. The first one actually might be a dad. It looks way more real. And this is something which is just gonna make or break the entire video. Because to a storyline video, there's two parts, the idea and the execution. You need to match both. The last thing I wanna mention here for the storyline format, you cannot make the clips too long. There shouldn't be extra unnecessary clips as well. Because the question you should be asking yourself, how many unnecessary parts are in here which I can just take out and the video is gonna stay good. Let's take a look at this video here and I'm gonna tell you exactly what can just be taken out. My brother's not home and I can finally try this box. He always hides. Oh my gosh, why can't this damn thing open? Finally, let's see what's inside. First, we should take the candy out of the jars and roll it out and place it in the baking paper for our meditation session. Then I think we sweep the candy into the jars and store the remaining candy in the box for next meditation session. If you take a look at the first clip and the transition to the second one, there's just like half a second delay, which is just unnecessary until he grabs the box out of the thing. After that, he tries to open it and it doesn't work. The story didn't get better by him saying how the thing didn't open. And he might think, all right, I just want to hook people and people are going to wait until I actually get to open it. But it just takes too long. This is something 
something which is fine in the first couple of seconds, we're already at the seventh second and we have no idea what's going to happen. The storyline needs to be concise and on point. And here's one more example. When you have to use your voice and some like actual voiceover, you just need to try to get to the point as fast as possible. So here's an example. Just kill me already. I'm a villain, not a monster. So this story was literally told inside of like seven seconds and that's it. There was nothing extra needed. The entire story was told so fast that it made it go viral because everything was there and had a place to be there. Now let's get into the next format, which is the visual. So first let me show you an example and then I'm gonna break down what the hook needs to look like. So in comparison to the storyline, there's no storyline here whatsoever. This just looks cool. But that's fine because it's a different type of video. So looking at the hook here, step number one, and this should be inside of your checklist for the hook, it is building up tension. You need to try your best to just get people to watch a couple seconds more. You can not only do that by having cliffhangers, but by doing something like this, where you just build up the video, it already looks cool, but you don't understand what's going on yet, which is a fine line to be at because if people don't understand what's going on and it doesn't look cool people just scroll past because they have no idea what's going on and they just try to figure out what's going on that's gonna make people stop scrolling Here again, the tension build up, like you're about to show it and people want to see it. And because of the comment which says with Nanami, which is some anime character, it basically builds it up. And people who are into animes and like that person, they want to see it and you build the tension up by having the comment. So it implies you're going to show something, but you don't show it yet. And again, here as well, keep in mind, there's no storyline at all. You just show it. That's it. The next thing is you need to make sure that the visuals and the sound align really, really well. Here's an example. Again, just showing the lamp, it doesn't look special at all. You have the music which builds it up though. The music drop is perfectly synced to lamp looking normal to looking super cool. Next is choosing the right sound, like this guy did perfectly. Oh bro, come over here, come over here. Check out my new shoes. They're the brand new one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, buckle some more, five, six, Nike kicks. This just fits well. Again, there's no crazy story involved here this guy just basically shows the product and used a really really good sound which made it go viral and the sound itself here is also the hook so let me show you a couple more really good examples for perfect hooks what's good about the next one is just the text hook this keeps you watching this video literally just saying warning bug dance coming in hot that's all it takes so people actually watch a little bit more obviously the transition here is also really good where he's going into the product itself but still the main reason people stop scrolling is the text Here the next one is you already see how the books fall down and it's literally something where you just want to see how all of them fell. Just because it starts with a satisfying thing, you instantly just want to see a little bit more. This one is a super visual hook as well, where people just want to see what happened. You never show them what happened, but it makes sense because you tie it back to the product and your product kind of has the solution to this problem, which obviously regular people don't actually have, but it's just an over-exaggeration. And this is something which is just generally more interesting, probably to people who live in colder areas where this could be a thing. And here, very basic, but this is actually what hooks people. Just using the product right away. So shooting this spidey thing. Just starting this video off like that makes everything better. 
enough about the hook, let's talk about the main part now. Very first of all, the background, the aesthetics of the video need to look very native and clean. If we take a look another time at the guitar picks, them using this blue color LED light across the entire room made everything just so much better. And because everything is dark, you still see what's going on. Everything is well lit with a blue light and the guitar pick itself is lighting up. Everything just looks cool. That's just something which can make or break your video. If you make the same exact video, it just without having a perfectly matched LED color here, it might not work. Let's take a look at the main part of the bug video. So here, what's good as well, there's a lot of short clips from different angles, which makes the video way more entertaining, way better, and showcases the product in the best possible light. On top of that, the dance moves of the guy are very synced with the beat. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play this properly, but the beat and him moving is just synced so, so well. Now, the only reason why this works so well here is because most people are just autistic like that, where they want to see the full thing. They think it's super satisfying where something is messed up and then it's cleaned and then it's fully clean. And it's very well paired with the music, with the vibe, with everything being done. And it's just making you watch till the end. So you got hooked by it being broken and then you got rehooked by you waiting until it's fully built. Now, generally speaking, the biggest mistake you can do is only look at the product. You just have to look at the background, the visuals, and just the overall aesthetics of everything. This is what makes a video good. Sometimes just turn your head off from the product and focus more on the other things. Video type three, and it is answering questions and comments and just directly talking to the audience. First of all, let's again start out with an example. A lot of you have been commenting that Spider-Man is better. There's no way all of you really think that ridiculous baby web shooter actually works. Why would you want to spend $50 for something that breaks on the first day and costs as much as a goat? When you can buy our bat hook, which allows you to swing, climb like Batman for just $16. It's time you Silk fans pull up your big boy pants and join the real men. So with this example in particular, you just show the comment right away, the one which is asking the question, what you're referring to, and instantly you start with a voiceover. That's very, very important. The voiceover has to start instantly. At the same time, you have to have something extra added in. As in the previous ones, you have to have a reason why people keep watching. And here in this case, the visual hook was just throwing the thing and wrapping it around the pole. Also, look at how many different locations this guy was at and how many different types of clips, how many visuals there were. This was a very long video, but still it was entertaining because every few seconds there was a new engaging clip. And almost every clip here was a mini hook because all of them were relevant and interesting to the store. Now let me show you a really bad example of this. Hey, don't tell me you woke up with neck pain again. Don't worry, we can solve that issue. Little munchkins, check out the cervical massager. This bad boy, wait, we don't need this. Anyways, this bad boy's the cervical massager. It can be applied whenever, wherever. Get yours now. Nothing is really happening here. He's just doing weird motions because he wants to add some sort of like engagement, but it doesn't work because it doesn't make sense whatsoever. The text itself doesn't look native. It just looks off and weird and nothing is happening. Just keep scrolling because there's no change in scenery. There's no change in nothing. Everything here on this video is just disappointing. So if one of your girls gets in the car and they ask for a charger, you pull out one of these messy looking cables. You're just asking to not get laid tonight. Here's what you should do with these cables. Get rid of them. Instead, get yourself one of these. It's a four in one super fast car charger. It's got a cable for your iPhone, one for your MacBook, and have a USB C port. The cool about it is once you plug it in, you're done using the charger. You just pull it out and boom, no messy cables. I'm not the only one who loves these. They've been constantly selling out on TikTok shop, but they just restock and they're running a crazy sale. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to grab one. He directly talks to you with the audience, but he's saying this little weird joke without insulting anybody. Basically by saying, if one of your girls gets into the car and everybody's like, wait, you have multiple, I only have one and stuff like that, where no harm is done, but you still have something to comment about. Keep in mind to not overdo this. You're just going to start appealing to the wrong audience and all the comment section is going to be not in your audience whatsoever. Just because they thought your joke was fun. Can I use it in school? Of course you can, my little dumpling. If your school has a projector or TV, there shouldn't be a problem using it, but remember to be careful. If your teacher Karen finds out you're the one turning off the projectors during class, she might not be too happy about it. 
here on this one just calling you my little dumpling obviously this is gonna spark people in the comments and comments like this here for example i'm not your little dumpling it's very obvious that something like this is gonna come up let's go to the last video type which is comparison videos there are different types of comparison videos in a lot of the cases you're gonna have a shitty version of your product compared to your product but then you can also have like a collection of your products and showcase all of them in a row here's a really good example of that which lighter performs the best the vintage tank the poker lighter the bazooka the mini pink torch the pink delight the saber torch The strongest torch ever. What makes this really good is that you just want to keep watching because in the cardboard, there are these different percentages. You kind of wait for the thing to become crazier and crazier and crazier until in the end, there's a little controversy. This huge lighter just gives like a tiny flame. However, in most cases, you're going to have comparison videos comparing bad versions of your product to good versions. Let's take a look. So here, for example, he's taking a long time to build up the first version of the product. And the only way you can actually pull this off is by saying prototype versus the actual product. Like if you say prototype, people just want to wait and see the actual product. This is something which helps you with retention, even if you take a little bit longer with building the prototype. It kind of positions you as the founder of this product and the brand. It makes it very, very salesy and people understand that this is on sale right now. Also, you can emphasize emphasize how bad the first version is by using good sounds. So this is an example here. Uh, brother, uh, what's that? So you need to make sure that the music changes as soon as you hit from the bad products to your product. This just pushes this narrative of the before after effect even more. Here again, you can clearly hear the difference in sound and the visual effect of the first product being so, so bad and the second one looking pretty cool. This is one of the most powerful ways to actually sell products really well. If you go viral with a video like this, people just understand exactly that you're selling it and you're gonna have so many more sales because of that versus other types. Now, let me give you a few things which you have to keep in mind in the ending of the video in general. For all the video types, this works really well. Let's go back to the jacket video and take a look at the last like three, four seconds. Wait, will she still be having my location? This is gonna end up causing debates in the comment section. You just ending the video on a question makes people think and makes people comment. So this is a really good thing to do. So if we just play the beginning and the ending of this clip here, it's basically the turbo jet. Does it work under a pool? And then just skipping all the bullshit, the end is this. What would you even use it for underwater? Well, guess what? The entire comment section is about that. Ending the video on a question is just a, such a powerful thing to do. The same thing goes with ending the video on a cliffhanger. All these videos where they get a question asked and they never answer it it's also a cliffhanger and it basically gets people to let their frustration out in the comments that's also totally fine because it's people in your niche because people outside of your niche didn't even watch the full video because they didn't care now if all of this was valuable to you i have something even better which is basically video and product review calls with us me and my team we're literally gonna look over your videos look over your products and we're just gonna tell you 
what is bad and what is good. How this works, every single video you post, we will roast and we will tell you what is good, what is bad, what to change, what to improve on and where your main bottlenecks are. Because with all of these video formats here in general, if you have one mistake in there, it's just not going to work. Everything needs to be perfect. And the problem is you don't know what the issue is. If we're being honest, if you only have one bottleneck in the business, you do everything fine, but just your product sucks or in the content, you keep repeating the same mistake over and over again. And that's why you don't go viral. You're never going to go viral. For us, it literally takes 10 minutes to identify the problem. And we're just going to tell you, hey, change this. And then you're going to start going viral on a consistent basis and convert views into sales. At this point, we have no competition. We are by far the best organic dropshipping program out there. No one comes even close. Nobody has the results we have. If you have seen the results, then you can click the link below and sign up for a free call. If no, you can also click the link below and just binge watch all the case studies we have on the website and also here on YouTube as well. And if you actually want to work with us, click the link below, sign up for a free call and we just will figure out if this is actually a good fit. And if yes, we're going to start. If no, then not.